And there's our first live view of Dragon Freedom with the Axiom 2 crew. This is coming from one of our thermal tracking cams. I believe this might actually be the WB um, plane, the WB-57 plane from NASA. This is a thermal imaging tracking cam. About two minutes remaining until we have an anticipated uh, ability, uh, when, until when we anticipate being able to restore communications with the crew. Once again, the buildup of plasma on the outside of the capsule prevents any communications going to or coming from the Dragon capsule. You can see SpaceX engineers there on console monitoring Dragon's progress as it is autonomously uh, steering itself to the splashdown site off the coast of Florida. Once again, we're targeting a landing uh, near Panama City in the Gulf of Mexico. And a quite excited small crowd outside of Mission Control here at SpaceX. You can see them there awaiting the return of the, the 10th mission mm -hmm. of uh, crew members on board Dragon. Yeah, and we're well underway uh, with our second shift operations here at SpaceX headquarters. So we can see some folks as you, uh, yeah, can definitely see they're gathering, awaiting uh, more views of, oh, there's a beautiful wow. shot. We can see that capsule wow. now streaking through the night sky. I believe this camera view might be coming from the recovery vessel or from one of the uh, aerial assets that we have in the area. We're now coming up to the end of the, uh, of the expected loss of signal. So we're now moving toward AOS or acquisition of signal. That's incredible. And we should probably hear SpaceX core Michael Blasco start healing Dragon, SpaceX, comm check. We have you loud and clear. Likewise, good to have you back. Expect automated chute deployment. Dragon cap. All right, great news there. Those communications have been restored with the Axiom crew. The next event we have coming up. GPS has converged. Expect nominal altitude for drogue chute deploy. Copy nominal altitude for drogue chute deploy with GPS. Now we expect those drogues to deploy when the Dragon capsule is around 18,000 feet in altitude. And we're roughly a minute and a half away from deployment. Another view coming to us from the WB-57 chaser plane. These are thermal images. Brace for drogue window. Now standing by for deployment of the drogue parachutes. These will be the first of two sets of parachutes that we'll deploy to help further slow down the Dragon capsule.
Should see those drogue deploys. Uh, excuse me, those drogues deploy any second now. Looks like they're going now. Visual on two healthy drogues. Dragon copy, two healthy drogues. All right, great news there. Those two drogue parachutes have deployed. That helps to stabilize the Dragon capsule and uh, provide that initial deceleration via parachute. Up next, we will have the main parachutes deploy. Vehicle velocity at main chute deployment is about 119 miles per hour, and they deploy between 6,500 and 6,000 feet. And there we can see those drogues pulling away, exposing the main parachutes. There are four main parachutes on the Dragon capsule, and it looks like those are now expanding that reefing. Main chute descent rate nominal. And Dragon copies, nominal sheet. Now this is a really cool view from the Dragon capsule. That's actually from the basin where the main parachutes. One kilometer. Uh, 1,000 meters, copy. So view from where those main parachutes were just located. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from this point on, we will hear Commander Peggy Whitson call out the altitude uh, of the Dragon capsule. So we just heard her call out one kilometer, meaning one kilometer above the uh, ocean surface. Eight hundred. Copy, eight hundred. So at this point in time, we can see we have four healthy main parachutes have deployed. Uh, for the Axiom 2 crew. In a matter of minutes, they have gone from 17,500 miles per hour um, down to uh, roughly uh, now about 70 miles per hour. Um, Copy even less 600. than that, as the, or excuse me, when the main parachutes were deployed, they were going about 119 miles per hour. Um, and by the time that they actually land in the water, um, it's about 10 miles per hour, thereabouts. Four hundred. Copy, four hundred meters. Cruise brace. Copy 200 and brace for splashdown. All right, standing by for a splashdown of the Axiom 2 crew. AX2 is back on Earth. As you can see on your screen, visual confirmation for splashdown of our Dragon spacecraft. Dragon Freedom has returned home with the AX2 crew. SpaceX C splashdown and mains cut. At this time, you are go for procedure 4.800. And we're in that four decimal eight zero zero flex down. SpaceX sees this. We're in water upriding. SpaceX. 
SpaceX sees the same. Peggy, John, Ali, Rihanna, on behalf of SpaceX, welcome home. Well, and SpaceX, we would like to tell you that was a phenomenal ride. <laughs> we really enjoyed all of it. You are the best. <laughs>